Высшим законом может быть любовь. Высшее право, милость, высшей справедливости может быть прощение. И мне кажется, что этой формы было достаточно, чтобы не пускаться Good day to you, my dear friends. This short video is our message to every sane and awakening man. This is a message to you, deliberate and responsible. We invite you to the first international biospheral forum, which takes place in the Ukrainian Carpathians in June 2019, in the first biospheral settlement, Beopolis. You can become a guest or a volunteer, and if you have the strength and knowledge and you are ready to share it with others, become the master and partner of the forum. In the summer of 2019, in the Biospheral Settlement Biopolis, with the support of the charitable International Biospheral Settlements Development Fund, the first international Biospheral Forum is held. The forum is addressed to establishing of Biospheral Settlements Sustainable Communities. For five years of life in nature, we have created the concept of biospheral settlements, which now we actively promote throughout our friends in eco-villages at the level of the UN, as well as throughout the programs of implementing the Global Sustainable Development Goals. Today, with the help of the Biospheral Forum, we are publicly talking about the establishing the biospheral civilization. It is already completely clear to any sane person that the modern model of human civilization destroys our home, the planet Earth, and accordingly leads to the destruction of life on it. Nowadays, almost everyone is talking about ecological catastrophe and sustainable development. Scientists, politicians, journalists, they took their thesis and terminology from those who began to build the first eco-villages 60 years ago and continue to do so today. Unfortunately, there is no point in these speeches. Thousands of speeches, hundreds of programs and funds, more than 600 reserves, tons of reports and studies, billions of dollars, but humanity continues to destroy itself and all living things with ever-increasing enthusiasm. Whether we do it ourselves or we are forced to do so, it is a topic for a separate, long and very interesting conversation. But I know that the desire for self-destruction is not characteristic of any biological species, nowhere in the universe. Therefore, we will not discuss the question who is to blame. Let's decide what to do. We are all different. We have different principles, values and goals, but something still unites us. And perhaps, since we gathered here on this planet at the same time, because of common karma, a single meaning of being or something else, I feel we must act together. Is it possible? After all, we are separated by distances, state borders, social statuses, upbringing and languages, and since the 30s of the last century, we have been divided even more by introducing the virus of selfishness into the human consciousness. We are all infected with it, in more or less degree. Why was this done? <laughs> Divide and conquer. This is one of the key and most effective principles of today's parasitic system. How to be? What can be done? Can we arrange the life of mankind in such a way so that it becomes abundant, healthy and harmonious with outside world? Yes, I think we still can. Can I do it myself? Definitely not. What can unite all of us together? The desire to live and live well common understanding that we need to stop destroying our planet, the desire to save life on Earth for our children, 
the awakening and understanding that we are all organically whole and that the life and future of mankind depends on you as well as on me. We think it is necessary to create biospheral settlements. Such kind of settlements are resilient communities of conscious people. This is not a village, not a sect, not a holiday village or a labor community. Biospheral settlement are rather a research institute which participants live permanently on its territory. They live by the principles of sustainable development, that is, they do care about the rights and freedoms of other people and future generations. Residents of biospheral settlement are engaged in creativity, development, construction, nature conservation, agriculture, environmental protection and research activities. I live in such a settlement and calling you I am acting partly from a selfish motives for with all my being I want happiness to my family and children but only partly. After devoting more than 12 years of my life to biospheral settlements, I definitely know that if right now every sane person doesn't begin to act in order to save the planet, our children will simply have nowhere to live. So we all need to combine our efforts. Because how fast, efficiently and in what quantity humanity will wake up from sleep and stop miserable slavish existence, not just your life and my life, but also the future and life of our children depends on. Will our children have clean drinking water and air tomorrow? Will they have the right to freedom of thought, speech and action? What can we do for this? The first International Biospheral Forum is held at one of the launch sites of Biopolis on the territory of Carpathian International Scientific Research Permaculture Center. Find out more about the center by the link above. The first biospheral settlement Biopolis is located in Carpathians at an altitude over 3,000 feet above the sea level in the forest near the turbulent mountain river Siret. Here the purest mountain air, silence, forest, Mountain streams and friendly community are waiting for you. By accepting our invitation, you will not be only able to share your knowledge with people who seek to evolve, create settlements and live in harmony with nature. As well, you will make new friends, expand your horizons and gain knowledge. During the week at the forum, we will discuss, research, study the theory and put into practice the following aspects. Philosophy, the lie of modern science, the distortion of history, capture of the planet, conspiracy theories, fiction or truth, global secret control of the world, lies of social, political and state institutions, forms of management and influence, governments, religion, education, medicine, states, borders, armies, wars. Who needs it? Poverty, social inequality, hunger, diseases are not natural processes. The harmful effect of cities on the spiritual and physical health of a man. Modern social norms and rules, the benefit or tool of enslavement. The current monetary system, is it an instrument for the development of the economy or the instrument of cabal for slavery? Damage inflicted on the planet's biosphere by a modern technocratic civilization. We will study and practice on how to create a biospheral settlement and get land for free. Legal aspects of the establishment of the biospheral settlement and the official registration of a beer reserve and protected area. 100% settlement self-sufficiency. Principles of interaction between people, decision-making in a beer settlement, social democracy and many others, energy and development of human bodies, the ability to manage this energy, fast, reliable, economical frame construction, geodesic domes, straw bales, saman, permaculture in action. Water management at the site, the setup of a forest garden, human health and spiritual growth in biospheral settlements, autonomous and renewable energy sources in the settlement, mini hydroelectric power plants, solar panels, compressors, wind generators, geothermal energy and etc. Sovereignty and security. 
Sustainable Development of the Biospheral Settlement. Worldwide Biospheral Settlements Alliance, a guarantee of the future of our children. You can find out more on the website of the International Biospheral Forum and International Biospheral Settlements Development Fund website. And of course, we welcome your active participation and support of the forum. Make a post about the forum on your resources. Share it with your colleagues and friends. Only together, we are power. You and I, here and now, are creating not just our reality, but also laying the foundation for the future for our children and descendants.